What is going on guys? So you guys all know I've had a sty for the past three months. I think I figured out a way how to get rid of it without going into too much details. It's kind of deep in there now, but I figured out a way to kind of like bring it to the surface and get rid of it. It's, it's, it sounds gross. I, I don't want to vlog today. <laughs> I don't want to like have my camera hella close to my face because it's kind of gross. So I want to give you guys a tutorial. <laughs> what a way to start off the video. So I made a list of six things that you should never do when making melodies. It's mistakes that people always make. Um, there's nothing on here. It's a mis it's a list of six things that people do when making melodies that I don't think that you should do. Do not do. This is the list of do not do these things when making melodies. I was just thinking, what can I show these people? What can I show this channel? Give me give me a tutorial, Kyle. Switch up the content. I don't know what I'm saying. So yeah, uh, let, let's get into it. Let's get into the list. Let's get into these things. I'm going to make a beat at the end of whatever I create. I was just messing around on my keyboard. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Drop a like. Let's get into it. The six things in three, two, one. Number one, the first thing you should never do when making melodies. Is this, is this thing even? Number one, when you're starting to make your melodies, when you're starting to make your beat and you're, you open FL Studio and you're like, wow, I cannot wait to make a beat right now, man. I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to make a beat. Um, don't start off your melodies by using a detuned, detuned melody. Uh, there's lots of different options in every VST, Plugin, Electra, Omnisphere, Keyscape. There is options for detuned, detuned melodies. You can detune a lot of things. Detuning your melody gives a, a cool effect after you kind of have the idea of the melody kind of established. And what I mean by that is don't start off your beat by using a detuned melody because... For example, this random detuned thing that I found called modular detune. It's a lead, it's not a, you can't make chords with it. Here's what it's supposed to sound like. And you can make it work. You can make a beat work by starting off with a detuned melody. Maybe that's the only melody you use for the whole beat. There's better options than that random lead I just used. I try to not do that because as you're as you're going throughout the beat and making the rest of the beat, it sometimes might be hard to match everything up and, and make it sound good. I've had problems in the past when making beats. I use a detuned melody to start off the beat and didn't detune it on my own. You start putting in a counter melody and you're like, wow, this sounds weird. Why is this sound off? Number two, things that you don't do when making melodies is using the EQ to take too much out of the melody. I will show you what I mean by that with this simple melody that I made. Using EQ, you can use EQ to do a lot of different things. As you can see, the EQ right here, <laughs> this is where the sound is coming from. Here's the lows, here's the highs, it's, it's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go to one of my presets, one of the presets. When you're, when you're EQing, you can use it for a couple of different things. One of the things is to make room for other sounds. So like, if I was leaving this out, I'd be making room for the 808, for the kick, for a bass line, for whatever. And if you get rid of some of this, you're making room for vocals, for like hi-hats and snares. Maybe you have a counter melody that's sitting around the highs. So it's for mixing and it's also just, to, it kind of gives it an effect too. I use it a lot on vocals. But I, something I see a lot of people doing is like, kind of just like having their EQ look like this. Like they're made, all of their melodies are kind of crunched into this like low mid or, or they're crunched into one specific area on the EQ. And basically what ends up happening is the is the, the melody ends up getting really harsh. For me personally, I kind of use those other, um, I use those other frequencies to kind of play off the melody and make it a lot more fuller. Don't completely eliminate all of the frequencies of a sound unless you're trying to do some sort of specific effect or it's just very harsh to the ears and um you want to you want to use you want to use the melody as it is another thing that you should not do in, in your melody is 
too much too much variety in the melody the best way i can explain this is you need to have something that just you need to have like a four bar loop you need to have a four bar loop or an eight eight bar loop just have it repeat i feel like i listen to so many of your guys' beats as you guys know and i've made beats and i've improved in making them and i see what i was doing wrong this is an example of what you shouldn't do and i'll show you how to fix it And the best way I can explain it is like, you need to have some sort of thing that is repeating throughout your beat. It's like, it's okay to have an eight bar loop. It's okay to have a long loop. It's okay to have a 16 bar loop that repeats and goes into a different version of whatever. If you make it work, you need to make it work. Sometimes I feel like I used to do this too. It's almost like you're trying to make an instrumental for a movie or something, or like a soundtrack or like a Beethoven symphony thing where it's just like, here's one pattern and you're vibing to that pattern and then it goes into something different and then it goes into something else that's different from both of those. And then it goes into something else different from both of those. A lot of times I see people kind of messing up in that part where they're just like, it's just going into different melodies and you're just kind of losing the, the vibe of it. It's hard to explain. Let me show you, let me show you how that uh, first pattern should, should really go. Thing number four that you should not do is too many melodies around the same octave. It's, it kind of plays off of that thing I was talking about with the EQ where it makes it very harsh. Cause if you pitch up a melody such as the one I made, let's look at it on the EQ. The low melodies are here. And the, the middle melodies are kind of here. Let's shift it up shift it up two octaves and see where it lies now. Now, if we look at the EQ, the low melodies went from being at the second one to the fourth one, and the, the melodies in the middle went from being here. It shifts it up from the left to the right. So, when you have too many melodies around the same octaves, and you can see that with the ghost notes, it's kind of missing something. It's like it's like you need some melodies in in the lower area to get them to like fluently collide together. You need some you need some melodies in the middle range, maybe a couple down low, and then some high pitched melodies to just bring those melodies together in a nice place. It's gonna help make them sound way doper, like when they're just like cleanly going in your ears. I don't know. That's my favorite thing is like making melodies blend together. So if I was looking at this. I would keep the piano high and I would. That's kind of muddy down low, that second one. So that one sounds good up high, this little guitar. And now I can maybe. Get it on the EQ. This is, these are all the melodies together. You can, there's like a good range of, of a nice healthy range on the uh, frequencies from where they're coming from, and it just makes them blend a lot, a lot better together. Tip number four. <laughs> Tip number five of the day is what was it again? <laughs> oh yeah. Tip number five of the day is don't force half speed on the gross beat on gross beat when you don't have to and you know what we've all done it everyone from the best producer on earth that uses gross speed half speed to the worst producer on earth that knows what a half speed is <laughs> everyone's done it they're trying to save one of their beats they go into half speed Ooh, that sounds kind of fire though <laughs> Woo! They go on a gross beat, say this was pitched down one more or whatever. Sometimes it just, it, it happens to work on this one, but sometimes it just doesn't work. You're trying to save your beat or you're trying to make it different because you've been looping the same thing over and over and you just do gross beat, half speed. And it's just like, sounds like this. Oh, it's just like 
muddy and disgusting and you can barely hear the notes. Tip number five is don't force it. Use it when it's needed. Maybe come into this knob over here and do this. That's a bad example. I'm gonna shift it up. So then you get the best of both worlds when you turn this. What is this called? What is this? What is this knob called? I've mixed level. And um, yeah, just don't force it. I've done it, everyone's done it. Don't force grow speed, half speed. Tip number six of the day is don't rush them. Don't rush your melodies. Your melodies are gonna shape your entire beat. The melodies are gonna always shape the beat and dictate how the whole vibe of the beats. What most people make first is the melody. They don't make drums first. You build off of the melody. So just take your time. I feel like just a lot of people have the right idea. And it's like, why doesn't this sound good? It doesn't sound good because you rushed it and there's just a couple notes that are off. And it's just like, if you carefully make your melody, the rest of the beat's gonna sound good. If you mess up the melody, it's like a foundation for a house. You know what I'm saying? You make the foundation. If the foundation's wobbly, the house is gonna be wobbly. Get the foundation right. That's the melodies. That's my tips. I want to finish this beat. This is a dope little uh... Give a shit. Yeah. Cause I got more problems. I don't need no drama in my life. This ain't shit. I don't really got time. Cause I got more problems in my life. This is it. I don't really need drama. Cause I got more problems in my life. Alright, guys. So that's the end of the video. Um, my eye kind of looks gross. So I'm gonna do the outro from way back here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Um, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. That beats dope. Am I gonna write to that? I don't know. I recorded a voice memo and yes, I'm probably gonna write to that. Once this is gone, we're doing music videos. The music is going out. It's already done. I've showed you guys some previews. I've showed you guys me working on stuff. Things are coming together. I'm getting better at recording and it's exciting. Video podcast. I tested it out today. Wow. It's very lit. I cannot wait to get that out for you guys. Yeah, I'm about to do some other stuff. Having a productive day. Let's get it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, hit the bell, drop a like, all that good stuff. Drumkitskylebeast.com. I'm, I'm working on a new kit soon. I'm working on that free kit for you guys as well, so don't worry about it. Um, but anyways, see you guys in the next one. Yo, Thanks for watching. This is